Hey guys, my name is Mew, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Let's go. We're back in Jericho with Marcus and the Daniel look-alike. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. Hi, I'm Josh. Simon. Hi, Simon. North. Hi, North. Uh, let's ask Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Mm. Free? And hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Mm, the trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. This place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Hmm. Let's be direct, I guess? Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Just deal with it, dude. Sorry. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. But I look like a human now. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Alright, let's explore Jericho first. Start fires. I'm not a pyromaniac. It doesn't want to stay down. Okay. Uh, let's explore. Let's talk. You look messed up. Not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? Tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, let's just not go to Lucy yet and just explore Jericho a bit more. Okay, what's what's over here? Um Jesus, are those all bodies? I've never seen this. Oh my god, okay. That's grim. This entire game is actually pretty grim. Let's make another fire. And let's talk to North. Mm, How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Mm, wounded? A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Mm, spare parts? Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. 
Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Gee, thanks, North. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Can we talk to any of you guys? No? Uh, apparently not. Okay. Crate already emptied. I want to explore Jericho more. There's there's more to this. I know that. Yeah, right, the little kid. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Not if you leave it up to Marcus. Marcus will save the day. I believe I can talk to you. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. There she goes. I must admit, this game is pretty sad at some moments. Especially if you make some wrong choices. Uh, can we talk to Simon yet? No, not yet. I have to go to Lucy first. North, can you please stop throwing that ball? It's really annoying. Hi, Lucy. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Yeah, it was a pretty bad fall. Right, they're androids. They don't really feel pain. Look at all those LEDs, Jesus. Drink this. Alright, let's drink up. Gulp, gulp, Marcus. Gulp, gulp. Give me your hand.
You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Yes, ma'am. Mark is probably thinking, like, what a weak ass bitch. <laughs> no, I like Lucy. Oh, I can't walk into the fabric. Stupid. Alright, now let's talk to Simon. Did I, s I think I said Daniel before. <laughs> He looks like Simon. Daniel, okay? I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Come on, Josh. Okay. I'm in. Oh, I forgot something? Oh, probably like a book or something. Is this... Oh, Cara and Alice. You gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. She's so pretty. As soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. I swear to God. Can I have Cara as a friend? This is the place. <clears throat> All right. Come on, Kara, walk. Hello. Let's ring again. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait! We really need your help. Come in. I'd rather not, but okay. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Big, Please strong android. Make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's 
human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, <clears throat> clean air. Excuse me. And no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Come on. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Shady. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Hmm. This way, please. Come on, Alice. If you could just stand over there. Let me just check something. Just looking around a bit because I already know what's about to happen. So, I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? unknown reason. The trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. <laughs> so, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just... Reset them and sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's. That's so sweet. I'm so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. That's what you get for having a dream. 
Fuck you, Zlatko. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. Okay. If you can hear that noise, someone is messaging me right now. And I forgot to close my messenger. All right, there we go. We still remember. Oh, oops. Wrong way. Ah, oh, who is messaging? Slotko likes to do with androids. No, this can't be happening. He likes to play with us, creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Mm -hmm. He did to us. Jesus. <clears throat> Don't be rude, Kara. It's not their fault they're creepy. Yes, Lako. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Lako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Oh, I hate timed events.
You're so cute. Okay, but that's not what I have to do. Um, where? Why am I stuck? Okay, let's go to the next room. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh. What are you doing? Um. You're not gonna hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. Will you shut up? Will you be quiet if I let go? Yes, yes. I promise to be quiet. Don't turn me off. Mm, I can't risk anything, sorry. Because you are a little snitch. And I can't risk anything. Oh, hi Luther. Sorry doesn't help me, Luther. to mentally prepare for this one because <laughs> this isn't easy and I don't have the buttons memorized. Luther! Alright, come on, yes, let's mom. go. Let's go, Alice. I'm finished here. Right away, Zach. Alright, hide. Oh, wrong button. I'm already messing up the buttons. What? The little one is gone! Well, I can't have just disappeared. It's gotta be here somewhere. I what can't look around for? because Go look. my right hand is busy. Oh, I can't let go. Yes. 
nothing. Trouble. Ooh, that was a gun problem. I thought you left already. Okay, I think it's safe. There you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. Now just come on out and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about that little girl, how, how, how scared she must be. Just be... Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! No more hide and seek for you. Oh yeah! No bear! They're over there! Poor bear! I really can't be having any frame drops right now. Don't do this to me, PC. Uh, back door. you dreams always end in tears you should have listened to me yeah what are you doing there. get out of my way no not this time i said get out of my way or i'll shoot right through you Noises they make. Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Now we got Luther on the team. I was so scared of losing you. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. That's a very big chapter. Alright, let's do one more chapter and then I'll end the video. Connor! Alright. We're back in our little headspace. Gotta find Amanda. Touch the terminal again. And he always gets scared of it. Oh, I can touch it again. Oh, now he doesn't get scared. Okay. Alright. Where are you, Amanda? She must be somewhere. Oh, she's right there. I just saw her. I am looking forward to seeing Sam play Demon Souls on the PS5 though because that game literally Hello, Amanda. looks next Hi. gen. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? seem to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Fuck you, Amanda. I will explain. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? Mm, the diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The signs on the walls? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. No, of course she's not gonna like that, probably. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Oh, is this... Oh, I think this might be my favorite... My favorite moment in the game. Oh, please tell me it's that. Please, please tell me that I don't have to do anything else before it. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh, this is my favorite moment in the game. You guys will find out why. Thank you for traveling with Detroit Taxi. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Aw, Hank is a friend. Okay, just just we're we're gonna let Connor be a little shit first. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? No, let's just ring again. <laughs> <laughs> Such 
silly as shit. I love him. Oh, just pressing the button like, <laughs> Oh, it's Diggy. There's a little sumo. Can I look inside here? Oh, look at him. The sumo. And there's Hank. Lieutenant Anderson! Alright, let's break the glass. Come on! Jump, Connor! Perfect Easy. landing. Sumo! I'm your friend! <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Aww, such a good boy! Alright. Let's wake up Hank. Let's see. Uh, whiskey. Hank, you're drunk. Black lamb. My gun. One bullet remaining. We all know what he was trying to do. Okay. He's still alive. Lieutenant! <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's me, Connor. I I'm love going this to sober party. you up for your own hey, safety. You I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Sumo! Attack! Aw, oh, good boy. Uh, attack! All right. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Hank. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Mm, you guys know what's coming. Oh, yeah. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Can't you just leave me alone? I love these two. Uh, let's be pragmatic. Maybe you should drop the case. Oh. They'll assign someone else oh, no. and I can focus no. on my mission. No. You goddamn mission. That's all oh, you Oh no, care that's about, not what huh? I wanted to do. Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. Oh. All right, I'll, I'll 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 just tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, <laughs> probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Oh, Hank. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. All right, I will make you look snazzy. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Mmm, streaky. Oh, Hank, you're not having a good time, are you? <coughs> are you 
you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> There's one thing that I can't handle. It's puke. It's the thing that... Don't go! Oh, please, can I pet you? Yes! I can pet you. Oh, you're so cute! Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Aww. You're such a good dog. Oh, can I pet him again? Oh, please, can I pet him again? Can I? No. Oh. Alright, let's just look around. Picture. He's an android. Probably knows the reason why he died, too. Mm, it's a question. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Oh, Hank. Oh, look at him. He's snazzy. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. He's such a good boy. Alright. And with that, we're going to end the episode. I mean, it's a good way to end the episode because we, 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 we pet a dog. I mean, in every single game, as soon as you can pet the dog, it's immediately a 10 out of 10 game. And for me, this is an 11 out of 10 game. Like, you, you guys have no idea how much I love this game. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave the episode here. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>